In God, there is no hatred. God does not hate. God does not loathe. And God does not detest. We all fit in the kingdom of God. Amen. This is Chico Oren Clay and welcoming you to Light of the World on One Vision Gospel TV. Spaceless, timeless, limitless, immaterial, intelligent, all-powerful, wonderful, beautiful. I could go on and on and on trying to describe this thing I have in mind. But it's going to be all in vain. You know why? Because this thing that I have in mind is called love. And do you know why love is impossible to describe? Well, because mainly because God is love. And God is all loving. An all loving God who does everything because of love and who sometimes refuses to do things also because of love. Do you think this same God can condemn us to eternity in hell? Well, He can. Doesn't sound like love, right? But He has a law, you know? God is love, but He is also just and He has a law. His law states that in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, his law states that for the wages of sin is death. It doesn't end there. I will continue, but you might already know the verse. It's a very common um, episode by Paul, but I'm just going to leave it there for some time. Bear in mind, the wages of sin is death. That is the statement of God's law and He is just and He will keep His word and His law. The wages of sin is death. But think about this. If you are going to say that God isn't love, think about this. Why are there rules? Why are there regulations? Why do countries have laws? Well, laws are made so that we will evade arrest. We will evade injuries. Yes, there are signs everywhere, near ditches, at the zoo. Don't be too close to the fences. The animals could bite, the animals could hurt you. And there are, you know, funny uh, signs like, beware of the owner, the dog is okay. Yes, have you seen those memes? Anyway, rules are made so that we will evade the consequences. And God is not different. God is love. And therefore, He made the law. Right? The law which states that the wages of sin is death. He does not want His people, His creation to die. He does not want us to be in hell. And so He gave us this law. And He has only one law one rule in the Garden of Eden and that was not to eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge. In the Old Testament, God's, in the Old Testament, God's law was do not and we will see the difference in the New Testament. So, if you sin, you are going to die. But what is this sin? What is the consequences of this sin? See, when Adam and Eve ate the fruit from the tree of knowledge, their connection with God was broken, was shattered, was destroyed. And so, if the connection to God was destroyed, the only other option is hell, to be with Satan for eternity. And as we have already said this many times before in this very session the wages of sin is death that sin is hamartia in Greek um, by the way the New Testament is written in Greek so that is why I brought up the uh, word hamartia because it means missing the mark trying to get to God 
or trying to reach God or trying to reconnect with God by our doings is a no-no. You can't reach God with your actions, with what you do. You cannot please God with anything that you do. But like I said, the statement didn't end there. It goes on like this. In Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life eternal in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. In Christ Jesus, this law, this sin has been erased. And how do we get that? By believing in the name of Jesus Christ. By accepting that He has died for us. By accepting that His resurrection was done so that you and I could live a righteous life. And I'm going to read again from Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Romans chapter 5 verse 12 and I'll skip to verse 15. In verse 12 it says, Therefore just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, and in this way, death came to all people because all sinned. Now, you might be thinking, I did not eat that fruit. Let's name it an apple. It's easier to say, eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge. Let's just name it an apple. I didn't eat that apple. Why would a loving God punish me for something I didn't do? Well, in verse 12, we just read that just as sin entered the world through one man, through Adam. So it doesn't matter whether you committed the crime, the sin, or whatever you want to call it. Sin entered the world through Adam. And that's that. And death through sin. Remember, the wages of sin is death. And so this sin has been embedded embedded to all men who are alive and walking the planet earth we did not commit the sin but we are sinners and we need to be saved we need salvation we need someone who can save us and so let's read verse 15 verse 15 says but the gift is not like the trespass for if the many die by the trespass of one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many? Now, Jesus erased that curse, that sin, because he died for that sin. Remember, the wages of sin is death, and God is just, he's going to keep the law. He's not going to go around the law he's going to fulfill the law and so death was brought on by his son jesus christ if we believe in that we are saved now let's look back to how just god is in deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4 we find this the rock the rock refers to god the rock his work is perfect for all his ways are just, a God of faithfulness and without injustice, without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. So God is just. He is without injustice. And so he loves us so much. He gave us his son to pay for what we have done. We did not commit the sin. We did not pay for the sin either. It was Jesus. So, you are a sinner, but here is the good news. You are a saint, a righteous person. In God's eye, if you believe in the Son, Jesus Christ. I'm going to read yet again from Romans. Romans chapter 10, verse 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe 
that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. This is the word of God. Sin entered the world through one man's disobedience. And righteousness has been bestowed upon all men because of one man, Jesus Christ. Let us believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and be saved. And if such is the love that God has for us, why would God put the tree of knowledge there, right in the center of the Garden of Eden? Well, I don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us that. Right in the center of the garden, there may be assumptions, but I'm not going to talk about the assumption. I'm going to speak about the truth in the Bible, and that's that. But I have a suggestion for you, and this is a good one. Believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ, and go to heaven and ask God your questions. Every other question you may be having from this book, ask God in person when you get to heaven. Let's try to wrap it up here. The law of God states that for the wages of sin is death. And sin is the disobedience of Adam and Eve. And that sin had been passed on to us, embedded in us. And so we need salvation. And salvation has been given to us by God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Believing in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the only way to reconnect us to God. The sin that gets us to hell has been wiped out and righteousness has been showered upon us. And now we can connect ourselves, reconnect ourselves to God and be one with Him through Christ Jesus. God bless you.